Good evening, I'm Madison Stacy. Indiana Department of Transportation officials have reached an agreement in principle with the Federal Railroad Administration to keep the Hoosier State Amtrak, Amtrak line running indefinitely. The line has faced no fewer than four threats of closure the past six months and was set to cease operation at the end of this month if a deal wasn't reached. That's because INDOT officials balked at the FRA rule requiring the state to incorporate itself as a railroad and shoulder liability for any accidents on the line or personal injury cases. Victims of heart attacks can be saved through the use of AEDs, and now these devices are available at 14 new locations throughout Greene County. The area suffers from high cardiac death rates and was targeted as a priority for the AEDs as a result. The machines were funded through the Federal Rural Access to Emergency Services Grant, and Congressman Larry Bouchon presented the devices today at the Greene County General Hospital. Rural communities especially are at risk because of the distances between hospitals uh, and uh, access to these type of devices. So th this program is really important. Indianapolis played host to the Final Four this weekend, and planners say the events went off without a hitch. Indiana's close proximity with to Wisconsin and Kentucky meant many out-of-state visitors partook in the festivities and saw artists like Rihanna and Weezer perform at the three-day public music festival. City officials expect this year's Final Four to bring in about $7 million to Indianapolis. And we'll get a check of the weather. Tonight it will be cloudy with a 70% chance of rain and lows in the upper 50s. Getting a look at the five-day forecast now. Tuesday will be mostly cloudy with a 60% chance of rain. Showers are likely. Highs in the lower 70s, lows around 60s on Wednesday. And mostly cloudy with a 60% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the mid-70s. For more local news, log on to WTIUnews.org.